happy to answer any questions. I have questions. I, I have questions. I'm raising my hand. Hey, guys. Let's copy, Zilla. Haley Welch used to be a normal person, just living her everyday life on God's good green earth. Fuck dude. Before a silly little street interview changed her life forever. Fuck dude. A simple explanation on how to do something quite questionable turned into a multi-million dollar company. Fuck dude. With the front woman being Haley Welch, or the Hawk Tua girl as most people know her as. Haley Welch, or Shady Welch as some people have started to call her, decided to start the Talk Tua podcast to capitalize on the success of the meme Hawk Tua. <laughs> And this makes perfect sense because rule number seven in the book of cringe clearly states that starting a podcast is the best way to capitalize off of your first 15 minutes of fame. But Haley Hawk to a tag of Iloa wasn't done here. No, no, no. This was just the first step in her journey to become the most rich person who became famous off of a meme. We know that birds of a feather flock together. So one walking meme, Hawk to a girl, decided to team up with another walking meme, Logan Paul, to join forces to change the world and scam people with cryptocurrency. Now, I'm not saying that Logan Paul was involved in the crypto scam known as the Hawk to a coin, I guess. But it's kind of funny that Logan Paul is being framed for a lot of cryptocurrency scam stuff and Haley Welch, shortly after signing with his company or whatever she did, is now also being accused of the same stuff. Which brings up the question, who is accusing who? And that's where the hero of this story steps in. Coffee Zilla. Oh, Coffee Zilla, how the world will know of your name and sing your praises after bringing down the great Shmo Logan Paul in the Hawk to a girl. It's really incredible how in the past like four months we've had some of the craziest names in the YouTube drama sphere. From Coffeezilla to the Hawk to a girl to Soggy Cereal, Dog Pack 404, Mr. Beast. Like what are these freaking names? I guess I'm no better with animal fries but at least it's something delicious, something that everyone can enjoy. I'm not gonna pretend like I know anything about cryptocurrency scams or like really anything about trading shares and stocks and bonds and like insider and 15% and 20% and 90% I don't know what any of these numbers names figures graphs mean I don't know any of it but coffeezilla sure does and he was absolutely roasting the people that were in charge of the hawk to a coin hey uh, this is one of the most miserable horrible launches I've ever seen in my life okay then why the f are you on profiting from the There's rug no pull rug I think pull. it's relevant we didn't, we didn't pull a rug. I don't know what you're trying to say. It's not true. The Hawk to a girl is so annoying. Like, I'm not sure if she actually has some viewers that are watching her podcast or if they're all just bots. Because I can't imagine a real life human being sitting down, maybe eating some grub and deciding, The Talk to a podcast just came out. I need to watch it. I'm so excited. <laughs> to be honest, if you're actually a person who wants to watch the Talk to a podcast, you're a bot yourself you're literally an NPC why watch talk to it when you can watch animal fries I mean this channel is just so much better than anything she's putting out on her podcast yeah these people were completely unhinged and listen most of you we don't want you in the community let's be real right you're not great people I don't know y'all, right? Some of you, some, I see some friendly faces in this audience. He's having a meltdown. You know, you got, you, I'm gonna say y'all, you guys, right? There's a lot of negativity in the space. I think crypto brings the mentally ill into this thing, right? Most, if you guys are in crypto, you're most likely mentally ill. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna count myself as mentally ill for even being here right now. I am an avid advocate for stereotyping and I really hate the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. Do you know how many bad books you can avoid reading and wasting your time? If you just look at the cover, you see Logan Paul and Haley Welch standing next to each other, side by side, arm in arm, just smiling at the reader. You'll know to throw that book in the bonfire immediately, burn that thing to a crisp. 
crisp. That's the way I feel about these crypto bros talking right now. The way they sound is just so off-putting and like not pleasant to the ears. Based off of this guy's voice, I can only imagine what he looks like. And it's either the really pretentious, super muscular buff guy that would post a video on his YouTube channel about a day in the life of a rich 24 year old. And it shows him like putting on his Rolex wash before stepping into his Lamborghini and speeding off to the gym to work out for eight hours before going to an expensive restaurant and then heading home because he's so rich on Bitcoin. Or he's some fedora wearing Reddit mod that's sitting in his mom's basement eating pizza. Why did y'all unlock day one so people could dump on Haley Welsh's fans? And how involved was she really? And how much money is she making from all this? What's her cut? Uh, I just got muted. So yeah, that was the conversation. So eventually they muted CoffeeZilla, but as we've seen throughout history, if you silence one man, many others will rise up to take his place. This led to other people joining the call and asking many of the questions that CoffeeZilla intended to ask, but didn't get the chance to because he got unfairly silenced. So I'm sort of curious, like, not for the token price itself, but just in terms of the fact that there's fees that are being generated, there's an actual like- Hey guys, I hate to interrupt you, Nick, but hello there. But anywho, yeah. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. First off, Haley Welch's voice sounds so weird here. Like it literally sounds like a chat GPT cheap replica with all the oversaturation and modulation knobs turned up. Like it, it just sounds so weird. And second off, she's signing off because she's tired. I really don't think she's tired or if she is, she's not getting any sleep. I just know that she's going to be tossing and turning throughout the night, Googling what is cryptocurrency? What is a cryptocurrency scam? What does that look like? How can I stay safe from the law after scamming thousands of people? If detectives get a hold of her phone, those are going to be her last Google searches found in her history. But to put into perspective, her signing off and saying she's too tired is almost like an investigator hopping into a call with a company that's been known for not paying its employees. And as soon as the investor starts asking the hard hitting questions, the CEO of the company's like, whoops, I got gotta go to bed i gotta wake up early tomorrow and you know get back to work and all that good stuff so <laughs> uh take care you guys you know good luck finding you know where all the missing money went and hopefully our employees aren't too disgruntled and you know it's they'll learn from this we're all gonna learn from this big experience and you know it'll be fine everything's gonna be fine i'm sure of it it just looks so shady and really makes Haley welch or shady Haley look like she was either one completely fooled by the people that were taking care of doing the cryptocurrency coin for her or two she truly is like the mastermind behind all of this and she doesn't want to answer any more questions either way she's an adult and even if she didn't really know what a crypto scam was and she had no idea she was doing this to people she still like should do some research before just jumping into all these things before just handing the keys off to random people that she doesn't even know at least make sure these people are trustworthy before just giving them the keys to the kingdom so at the end of the day forget about hawk Tua. now she has to talk to a lawyer thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you want to watch more videos that i create and hop onto the discord i also have a patreon i got a whole bunch of different links that'll be in the description box but most of all i just really appreciate you watching my videos and let's get to 10k i guess that's the next goal so take it easy guys i'll see you in the next one